did you cheat during the VP? What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Kelly, a new face. Hi. But if you've been paying attention, Kelly actually won the VPJ. Sure did. This year, 2022. <laughs> so if you don't know about the VPJ, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It is a transformation challenge and it goes from the beginning of the year, so from January until about the end of April. And you have four months to do whatever you can to transform your body. Now you can go from fit to fitter, you can go from heavy to lean, you can change your body however you want, but if you have the biggest and best transformation, that's what we're looking for. I was one of the judges, <laughs> um, I think there were four or five of us, and it was super fun, it was super hard, but Kelly came out as the ultimate winner. So what we're going to do today is train a little bit of upper body and talk about the process that she went through during the BPJ and how she ultimately became the winner. So you played college tennis. Yeah. So I feel like athletes have a different mindset. Um, you're able to dial in a little bit different. Um, your structure, your yeah. ability to like create structure, I think comes in a little bit faster than people that aren't used to creating a structure. I literally treat it like as if I was in a sport. To yes. me, so like the VPJ, I was like, okay, this is the end for me. So I know how to train in the sense of like a sport because mm -hmm. I played at such a high level. Right. So I know like what you have to do mm -hmm. to achieve so, that. Right. Which is, I always say it's like my superpower and my kryptonite <laughs> because like I know that I can do it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, ex I'm here, here, you know? So yes. it's like when I'm all in, I'm all in. Yeah. And then when I'm not, it's like a mental. Thing, yeah, you know, like you don't have to push through, even though your body might be telling you no. Right, you can fire through it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I treat it like, and, and, and Billy will tell you he knows how I am. <laughs> He's like, yeah, like, <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I just go all in when I have to. Yeah. So you have the ability, yeah. to turn it off. Yeah. And tennis is like a single sport. Come on, so it's really mental. Yeah. Like you were. And so it's dieting. Like, and so it's dieting and yeah. training. So you're. Especially the diet. Oh, yeah. It's like the hardest part. It's the hardest part. And with like kids, you figure, like, I'm, I'm never home. So, you know, and kids eat. Not like we do. No. So you're surrounded by snacks. Snacks, food, pizza parties with the families. And, you know, so during that time, it was like. It's almost like a, such a good feeling to like the control of you know you yeah you're doing something that nobody else is yeah 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 I get that so you're like I'm doing this you know because you can yeah because you can and if you think I can't watch me right right that's that's right what gets me like yes. you think I can watch right. me do it right that's why I always I like to be like above and luckily I have. A good support system. Like my parents are here. Um, so Billy was your coach. Yes, I love Billy. So how he might not love me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's okay because some clients are hard, um, but some of the ones that are the most work bring the biggest results, the best results. You know, so it's that's not a bad thing. <laughs> So what did you do differently working with Billy? So I have been working with Billy before. Okay. For like a year. Okay. I actually started with him, well actually I think it was when we walked, like around the summer of like COVID. Okay. Um, and that was hard because the gym weren't open and like my parents have like a little gym in their house. So anyways, I have been working with him and we had gone through like a good cycle already. Okay. I was, when I met with him, I was overtrained and underfed. <laughs> so he. So common. <laughs> so common. Especially with my mentality, I just kept going. Because I was used to just going. Right. Your um, body is not going to stop you because you're right. 
Um, so we actually did a complete reverse initially. Okay. And then we went back and did a cut. And then I had got sick. So then from that point, I like completely went off the deep end. Okay. And if I go off like mentally, like, like he'll tell you, like, kind of shrinking. So that was before the BPG or that was before. Okay. So that's what sparked the BP PJ because I had been off for like a few months. Okay. Just not in like what I'm used to. Right. So now you went something so, so I was like, like for this. Like this is this is my opportunity to like Hell yeah. get my shit together. Like, you know, like do it. And so my mind was right. Like we wanted to make sure like my mind was there and I was ready. And um, and that's when I like kind of like was like I'm all like I'm done. I love so, it. And because I really like you know like as a mom mm-hmm. like I have nothing for me. It's all for my kids, which is great. I they're my world. But you also need to take care of yourself. Yeah. And I think I had lost that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so that was my time. Like I'm gonna do this. And it, it, it kind of took me back to like my athlete days. So I like loved it. I was like, this is like, that's cool. I'm gonna, you know. And my kids were super supportive. They were <laughs> that so was cute. my next question. How did your so kids feel? Because this was the first time like you went like all in on something. Right. Like they know I work out, they know I'm healthy. Like I wanna make sure that I'm giving them a good example. Of course. Um, but they, I was like, mommy's gonna do this, and like, I just need your help, and you know, I can win money. And they're like, okay. <laughs> so like, there was times too, because I had like a bike at my house. Yeah. And there was times when like, I had to fit whatever I put in, and like, I would just put the bike in the living room and go for it, pedal, and they were great. And like, if I couldn't make it to the, like my parents' little gym, I would just bring the kids to the, like, I did what literally whatever I had to do. That four months and they were great. I mean, they and on and the whole baseball team parents were always like, How's it going? Like, so the holy like, everybody was yeah, they all knew. Oh, that was so they were like, Look, how's it going? Like, we want to see your picture. So it was like a team, you know, you, yeah, you, know, like, you built a whole support yeah. system without even like realizing, right? Like, yeah, it's nice when you have a support system like that, um, having people you and they're interested in what you're doing right. and because if somebody asks you like how you're doing and you fall off the wagon it, it helps with accountability 100%. so you're not going to fall off the wagon right. because when you go to baseball practice on Monday and Wednesday and right. Friday it means on Saturday and Sunday right. somebody's asking right. you all the time yes. so you have to be on yes and it, you know and my husband is into this world he also works with Billy and um, my dad was a Collegiate athlete, he works out he's super in shape. Look at you guys. So, like, I had them on, they weren't gonna bring me down either. They were only helping me. Okay. So, like, my dad was like, whatever you need, I got you during this time. Okay. Yeah. And so, it was good to have that. Because it's hard. Sometimes it's hard, you know? Being a mom is hard. It's definitely hard. <laughs> so, um, that's where I need to get to now. <laughs> And I just, I just do so much better with structure. Yeah. You know, I'm used to structure. So, like, when I don't have that structure sometimes, that's when it's um, harder for me. Mm-hmm. I think I'm used to structure in, in life. So, summer is right. why for me. Because right. you your boys are six and eight, so they're yeah. in school normally. Right. right. So, so, in summer, no school. No, no structure. No structure. <laughs> That's no where we're at. So I totally can like, respect that. No structure. And you know how people always say no excuses, but I, I'm not saying that there is an excuse. But in this summer, I literally had days where I I, I couldn't like nobody could help me. Right. My husband's out of town. There was no way around it. It's just it is what it is. At that point, it's not even an excuse. You just don't have. I just couldn't. The option. Yeah. And so, you know, what I'm learning now, um, on the 
other end of it is sometimes it's okay to, you know, I, I didn't need to go so the other end. Right. You know, like, I was so hard on myself. Right. After the there's an There's an extreme. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And especially as an athlete, it's easier to hit that extreme. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you're mentally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, I'm like, if I, I just went from doing this to now not having the opportunity or the time. You start beating yourself up. Oh, God. I am, like, the worst critic of myself. Oh my god. Yeah, I can yeah. relate to that. I have a spiral mentally. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> so, while you're training with Billy, what um, what were you training? Like, how were your splits? How did your days uh, look? So, we, gym. we started obviously higher, not as in much cardio or anything. Um, so, we you know, walking or whatever. And but my lifts have always been the same. Just obviously try to build strength. Right. So he usually has me doing about four or five exercises, a couple compounds, and then some isolations. Um, and then throughout the process, we would tweak my cardio. There was a couple months I would say that he added some in there or interval cardio. Um, and then fasted cardio and not anything crazy though, just walks. That's okay. walks in the morning, which I grew to love. <laughs> like I love my morning walks because right. like, you're through your head. head. Yeah. Um, and then we did a, 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 like 40 minutes of cardio after training. Okay. Plus the walk in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Walk was like 20 minutes. Okay. Actually. Well, that's yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Um, and then actually. The later I in the program, the less cardio I started doing again to get oh. the inflammation off. Interesting. Yeah, so we went from like doing stairs or interval stairs, whatever, to just walking morning and after weights. Okay. So there's no like high intensity or anything. Okay. Um, and it, it, it pulled like the inflammation. You were really cut up. Yes. And I, and I have that in me. I, like my build, your is build is athletic. Lean. Yeah, yeah, it's lean, and you know I've always had like the bigger legs and the bigger butt, and like my waist goes first <laughs> for you. <laughs> well, right now I'm like, oh god. <laughs> um, so when I I can get cut up, right? Like genetic, like genetically. Genetic. I mean, I've worked my butt off right. my whole life, but you know. But your family's fit. You come from a fit yeah. background, and I've always been. Fit per se, like I've always, for the most part of my life, taken care of myself. So, yeah, but my workouts always have stayed the same. It's kind of up to me to like push myself with the numbers or okay. like try to build a strength. But it's usually, you know, 12, 15 reps okay. type workouts. Um, he has me doing quads. One day, and then I do back, shoulders, and chest, um, glutes, and hands, and arms. Okay. And then the cardio was um, five days a week, and then on my off days, we would just I would just walk. We just go for walks. Okay, so you're still active, like yeah. active recovery. And I think a lot of people forget that like it's lifestyle too. Like I don't sit. I love it. At a desk. So, like, my life is very active because I'm constantly running around. Right. But people sometimes don't put that into the equation. Like, you sit at a desk all day, your metabolic rate is yeah. different. Yeah. You know, so whenever people are like, oh, what do you eat? I'm like, my, whatever I eat is not going to be what it's you different. eat. Yeah. It goes off, like, your lifestyle, too. Because, really, what? We work out. Hour. Right. Like, yeah. You know. But if you're, you're right. If you're sitting on your butt all day, and not to say that's a bad thing, some people's right. jobs just require that. Yeah. You're not burning as much calories right. just in your daily, your, your regular burn. Right. right. Your yeah. basic activity level. Yeah. Yeah. And mine is chasing around. Yeah. <laughs> Two young boys. Yeah. Two so, young, highly yeah. athletic boys. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I mean, I like to do stuff with them. So. 
we also forget to take that into consideration of your workouts or your cardio or your what you're eating or um, whatever you know whatever you're doing. And then diet, since you said what you're right. eating, how is that? <laughs> That's always the worst part. That's the hardest well, part, but it's the part that takes the most effort for sure. Yeah. So. Fortunately for me, I had been working with Billy before, so my foods have never really changed. Like, so Billy, you know, everybody takes different approaches, but he literally tells me what to eat. Okay. So there's not a macros count. Okay. I don't even know my macros. I don't know. He just says, eat this for breakfast, this for, you know. Very specific. Very specific. Okay. And you, like your veggies you might have options, your lean proteins you have options, but it's this much of this. And yeah. And I just for me that I like that. Because especially with like my life, I know I can just make and I don't have to like think about choices. Yeah. Um so that's where it gets hard because it's like, well, it says I can have a carb, so... Right. And now, now you're being creative in your head. like, well, I really want pasta. Right. <laughs> right. right. And that's not going to be your best carb, so right. <laughs> it's better just to say eat, eat the rice. And, and then you know. feel good with what you're eating because mm -hmm. you're not throwing in, I feel like, random foods all the time. So mm -hmm. I have a sensitive gut. Okay. My stomach has always had, like, I'm not, like, issue, you know, issues, so... Sometimes new foods or whatever, like, and then it's like you have to see is it this, is it this, is it this. So, guess works out. It's, yeah, you already yeah. know it works. Right. I he, so we do like a pre workout meal, mm -hmm. post workout meal. My pre workout's my favorite. <laughs> we do like the cream of rice with protein powder. And I honey. just started having um, cream of rice for the first time. I was always an oatmeal girl. I like oatmeal too. But the cream of rice always wakes me out a little bit, the texture, but I really like it now. It's good. I make it clumpy. Okay. Not so watery. Not so watery. I do the same and thing. I make it cold. I make it almost like grits. Like, like grits. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I like it hot. I like it cold. <laughs> Outside and I'm like, oh, but um, that's like my favorite work. And then you know, it's it's a lean it's a lean meat uh -huh. with um, rice after workout. Okay. And um, and then lean meats and veggies. And we we'll throw in like healthy fats. Like with, like I either have um, almond butter or avocado. Okay. Um, and c c those foods stayed the same throughout the whole It was just altering. Like this week we're gonna do higher. This week we're gonna do higher. Oh, high carb, low carb. So yeah, it was more to see where, like, because I check in every week with him. Okay. So it was more to see who, where we are looking, maybe we add. Okay. So like, he would always add in like a. Not a refeed, like a cheat meal, but a refeed, like a lot of It's good food. that you just said that too, because I think a lot of people forget this. When somebody, you can have a cheat meal, right? I mean, you could have a brownie sundae, you could have a cheeseburger, you can have your french fries, you can go crazy, right. or you can refeed your body specifically, right? which are two very, very different, different ways very different. to eat. Very different. Yeah. I like refeed, I like that word a lot better than a cheat meal. We all we all have cheat meals, but right. I like when somebody says. So kudos to Billy. <laughs> yeah, no. He, he, yeah, because it was it was so much food, but it was the right food, it was and right. it was food I was already used to, so it wasn't anything like. So it didn't add yeah, really. No. Yeah, and for me, like if I, if my gut's affected, it's usually a couple days. Like it it sets oh, yeah. me back. So I liked those days. I looked forward to those yeah. days. Um, but on end, like that would be usually like I think the day before legs or something. Okay, you know that's fair. Right. Um, and then my off days, we would we pulled more of the carbs and added more fats. Okay, on my off days. Um, and then obviously towards the end, you know, it's more strict. Yeah, <laughs> less and less and less. 
Um, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Right. And, you know, it's mind over matter at that point. You're like, I'm so close. Like, yeah. I'm not, not going to throw it all away. going to throw it away now. now. Right. It's like a, a power thing, you know, like, yeah. control, like we said, like a control thing. Like, mm-hmm. And I like that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's like goes back to being an athlete. Right. Being able to control those things. Right. You push yourself as hard as you're willing right. to take. Even like just, you treat this as a sport, like it always will help you in other areas. Yeah, too. You work harder because you know how to push yourself right. mentally. Right. And this is physical. Working out is physical. But I think the diet becomes very mental. Yeah. And that transfers into. Like you said, work, yeah, family. Like, yeah. are you willing? Do you need to take a nap, or are you taking it to the park? Right. You know, right. yeah, like stupid, stupid things, but it it goes full circle. It does. It does. You're able to endure more as a human right. when you learn how to push yourself. Yes. Yeah, because it's just an extra step up. Like you think, I'm sure. Like you go to the gym with a purpose. Yes. You know. Yeah, I don't like to just go through the motions. Right. Like, like, why am I there? If I'm just going to go through the motions, I'm probably just going to do cardio and walk out. Right, right, right. I'm not just going through the motions. It's right. not fun for me. No, either. it's not fun. Right. It's, right. And if you don't have, like, I don't have tennis anymore right now. So this is right. my thing. And, you know, sometimes. This is your outlet. Right. And sometimes you're like, I don't understand why you should work out my thing. It's my thing. And you can't take that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one thing I have, you know, the rest of our life is mm-hmm. And it's, a, it's one of those things, too, like, lifting in the gym, you could change your workouts, but you could do this for the rest of for your sure. life. Yeah. This isn't going to beat everybody so bad. If you do it right, it's right. not going to beat everybody so bad. Right. As long as you're feeding it properly, taking the right supplements, you're going to be able to take care of yourself for the long haul. Right. Which is the goal. It just has to become part of the life. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about um, supplementation. <laughs> um, so, like, Billy gives me my food. He tells me also, like, what supplements to take. Okay. So, by no means am I a guru. Um, I'll help you out. Yeah, but... <laughs> um, I, so he had me on the glycolog, which I do love for the carbs and all that. Now, do you take that, I'm assuming, before and after workouts? He has me, I take it when I have my pre-workout, like the carbs. Yeah. And then not with my non-carb meals. Okay. So only when there's like a certain amount of carbs. Yeah. Um, and then the glutamine, which 100% helps my digestion. That I notice, like I feel better. Gotcha. So um, that also helps repair muscles too. So it kind of goes full circle. It's a really good supplement. And you know, sometimes when you take stuff, you're like, I don't know what's doing what, but I feel yeah. that you know. You're well, you trust your coach right. too. Right. right. But glutamine is really good. I mean, you using it and taking note yeah. of that. But it also helps repair your muscles. So, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's one of those supplements too that not a lot of people take because it's just like, it's just like extra. Yeah. Um, that and even like creatine, a lot of people just don't. No. And they're huge, they're highly valuable. But yeah, repairing like, your muscles, muscles, anything you can do to like refeed your muscles in the right way, glutamine is definitely that supplement. And you just like, I, for me, I throw away my protein shake. Yeah. But it's necessary for sure. Yeah, I, I scoop it morning and night. Um, and then during the day, he had me on the smash. Okay, so that's going to give you your dry hard gains, which is why you look so <laughs> <and> tight <laughs> for your final photo. Oh, no, this is the red pill. That is, oh, that, is the good, that is the good stuff right there. Um, he has me on Halo 34 workouts. Okay, perfect. Those um, are going to give you gains too, and that that is the one supplement that like I love. Like, if I come off that, if I run out, yeah. it's a problem. So I always really? have a bottle. Yeah. Um, and actually, like almost like messed with my hormones at one point because I came off of it and I got moody, cranky. Yeah, like it was weird. I had 
lost motivation. Really? I just ran out and I just didn't get a restock. And I said to PJ, like, something is not right. And he's like, okay, what's going on? I went through all my supplements. I was like, well, I ran out of hand. He's like, well, that's it. Oh. Even like my libido went down. Like, okay. I wouldn't have thought, but I think it may even say it on the bottle. That it helps with libido. Okay. But Halo Elite, and you don't have to come off of that ever. Right. So this one, I'm like, I always yeah. have a bottle because if they ever run out, I'll lose my grub. That's, There's no way. That's good to know, though, because yeah. I feel like sometimes when I go off track, then my supplements go off track together yeah. because I'm just off track. Mm-hmm. Like I said, like I'm kind of crazy like yeah. that. So Halo Elite oh. doesn't have caffeine in it, but it it helps you focus okay. and push harder in the gym. Okay. So that's like the supplement that's gonna make you get one more rep when you're like, oh, you know, he said 12 to 15 and I'm just not sure if I'm gonna get 12. You're getting 12, you're taking Halo Elite. You're, okay. you're gonna push to the 15. Okay, so now, okay. Yeah, that's a really good one, especially like right before you go to the gym. That's the one you want to He has me on Eradicate. Eradicate. Okay. At night, I take it before I go to bed. Okay, so that is a anti-estrogen. That's really good too. That one I yeah, especially know. getting ready now. Like, says, don't come on, like, take that one. Yeah. Um, and I obviously take like the vitamin C, vitamin D. Your course, People forget yours. that vitamin D, even though we live in Florida, but like everybody can use vitamin D. Yeah. Um, and I don't do pre workouts. Okay. So stimulants. Okay. Um, I can do non stimulants, but. I have coffee right. and the halo. Yeah. Um, and okay. um, now that I have black cell though, I ordered some stuff to try. Like mm-hmm. I ordered the Harmonize. Okay, that's amazing. Actually, because I saw your theme on it. Uh huh. About the Harmonize. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm gonna try that. Yeah. Okay, well, the Harmonize, the collagen, and the collagen. I don't know if you saw it too. The um, Evaporate. I ordered that too. Especially when you have your period. That's <laughs> a huge. That's only the first time. Like, <laughs> periods are awful. So, like, it I just helps like, it look. Like, I have low, like, crazy. I'll put on, like, four or five pounds in my period. But it, like, immediately, if I take it, it pulls it right off. And I'm like, okay, I feel, even though it still doesn't move that much, I feel better. better. Yeah. yeah. I literally ordered it, the harmonize and the evaporate and the collagen right after I saw your thing <laughs> <laughs> on the. On the um, channel. We've gotten a lot of messages. Um, me and Marissa both after doing that video, and people were like thankful that we did that. Because yeah. I just think that people just didn't know, oh. or like you see it, but it's like no, no. Those were like the things too. Like you see it on the website, and it's like, well, do I really need collagen? Right. I already take protein, or do I really need harmonize? I don't feel like my hormones are off. Yeah. When you start taking it, you realize like you may have been off a little bit. Yeah. Or like little things like your skin is better. Yeah. You know, like things like that. Yeah that may go unnoticed because maybe you don't have bad skin. Right. But now it just you're glowing. Right. There's a certain glow to it. Yeah. So those are really, really yeah. important too. I mean Yeah. So not uh, only do you have like certain supplements you're taking during the BPJ now after yeah, the Yeah, because I started eating more but like I tried the Trojan horse. Um I love that too. We take that flavor, it tastes so good. <laughs> yeah. We take that at night before bed and like if I do an extra cardio session I'll just take that to help sweat more because I don't once I take my pre-workout in the morning I don't want more stimulants so I'm good like I'm good I have coffee and I do take pre-workout so I'm good after that but um the Trojan horse like take that yeah. do like even like your second round of cardio like going for like your second walk down like that it'll help you sweat more which is always it's really good and it's nice really good because I mean you do you know like I drink so much water that's yeah like, you know, like, I need some mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah that's um, another like good thing too so how much water do you drink that um, I think that's one of those things that people don't pay attention minimum to. Minimum a gallon. Okay. That's um, good. And that doesn't include my intro workout like okay. with BCAs. Mm-hmm. I do I I do, do the BCAs. Okay. <laughs> intro workout though, so okay. um, that's another thing. And then I do my a big coffee in the morning. Yeah, well the yeah, coffee I would um, that. <laughs> and you know, here and there throughout the day. So minimum a gallon. Okay. Um, Hydration is super important. Yes. Especially living, you live in Florida. Yeah. So especially living in a, in a climate like this. Yeah. It's it super hydrated. Yeah. And I get thirsty. Mm-hmm. Like, I like to drink water. Like, especially yeah. outside. Like, yeah. I don't drink, like, soda. Or no, I don't drink soda. I'm not that person. Even, like, if I'm drinking alcohol, it's with water. Like, I just mix it with water. Yeah.
Yeah, do, I don't. Soda. Yeah, I don't do soda either. Yeah. So here's another question: Did you cheat? Like, we talked about refeed, so totally different. Yeah. Did you cheat during the VP? I, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. I I cheated enough before. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes. So like before we did PJ, I had like three free days. Okay. To do whatever. Because he's like, get it out of your system. Okay. Now. So I enjoyed my three days and then I went in. I went in. Like I love it. Four months straight. No no cheats. And it's really hard when you have kids it because is. they're not like, Mommy, can I have ice cream? Oh, I mean, <laughs> pizza is my weakness. Like that uh, is my favorite. See, since we moved from New Jersey to Myrtle Beach. I haven't found any pizza that is worth the really? calories, oh. so I'm good. Yeah. But if there, if you tell me like this is like New York style pizza, you'll tempt me. Yeah. So and they love pizza, so like it would be at the house, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> but I didn't. Yeah. Like I didn't. Like just the crust. <laughs> just the crust. Or just the sliver. And then just one more sliver. I know. I know. No. I don't. Yeah. No cheese. That's awesome. Know. That's amazing. Yeah. But, like, think about it too, guys. When you're doing a transformational challenge like this, you have to think mentally. If you take one day off and you're like, okay, well, I'm, I look amazing, just one cheat isn't going to do it. One cheat could be the difference between first and second place, which is the difference between winning the money and not winning the money. And so, I don't know. And I don't know, like, everybody's different. But for me, one cheat is more likely to lead to more cheats. Mm -hmm. Because you, taste oh yeah, I'm not, food. I'm not a little like no, I'm gonna cheat. I'm it's gonna, not like a, a, a taste right. of ice cream. No, no, no. I want, I want the big one. Right. Yeah. Like if I'm gonna do this, I'm doing this right. Like, everything I do, I do with <laughs> that's, that's, that's the athlete that like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna PR it. I don't care what I'm doing. Right. Watch me the whole time. No, exactly. Over. No problem. <laughs> so like for me mentally, it was if I cheat. I'm more likely to mess up more yeah. than if I don't cheat. But you know that about you. I know that about me. That's why, like, this summer, it, when it threw me off, it's like, yeah. it was like this. Because yeah. like, I'm better with just none of it. Mm -hmm. But not everybody's like that. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. So it, it's whatever works for mm -hmm. you. Like, I think it like so. so I just want to say thank you so much for coming out and doing this. Thank I know. We've been trying to, like, I know. square up our schedule. Yeah. We've been down here so many times. But this is really cool. Yeah, no, you guys are awesome. Yeah. Like, so glad to meet you. Oh my God. I think this is going to be really helpful for people that are looking to do the BPJ in the future. I think talking to somebody, getting your insights, seeing um, how hard you pushed yourself yeah. might give somebody the idea to not take that cheat day yeah. because it could be the difference between winning and not winning. So you don't want to be in the top ten. You want to be number one. Yeah, so. and you and don't it, you can't you can't glamorize it. It yeah. was hard. Yeah, like it's hard. Like there's no. I, I think I would have been mad if you would have said that this is really easy and I no. do it all the time. Like you know, if he'll be the first to like it, it's hard. Yeah, you know, you are sacrificing a lot for yeah. those few months. Yeah, and you know, and, but you hope to continue it after. And right. yeah, obviously, it doesn't have to be. So extreme, right? It's just that it can set you up to keep to keep going, too, yeah. like to change your lifestyle or to get back on track or mm -hmm. whatever. You know. Yes, which yes. is what it was for you. Well, for me, like it gave me something for me, like mm -hmm. that was outside of my norm. norm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So guys, if you're thinking about doing the BPJ, it we are like less than six I months know. out from starting it all over again. So keep that in mind. Um, definitely get signed up when we start advertising for it again but it's a lot of fun and it really gives you a chance to dive into something wholeheartedly the same way kelly did and you can win a lot of money yeah <laughs> so <laughs> definitely look into doing it and we will see you guys next time